Hey everybody, thought I'd do a short video talking about one of the crops that I'm growing in my hydroponic system at the moment. Uh, what you see before you is purslane, and in the background I'm growing kale. And purslane is a really interesting vegetable to grow. Um, it's very high in vitamin A, and as far as vegetables go, it's the highest source you can get of omega-3s. Um, and those are not often found in high amounts in plants, so that's a really good feature of this type of plant. Uh, it also has a decent amount of, of minerals as well. Um, and some of the things that I learned from growing it hydroponically is that it's actually a pretty difficult plant to get to grow hydroponically. It's a succulent, um, and I think because it has so much water, it, it, it doesn't do as well hydroponically. Um, I started the, the plants in an aeroponic system and I would say about 30% of them actually survived. Um, and what you can see before you is what they look like now. I'll zoom in a little bit. So as you can see they've got kind of a, a succulent leaf, a red stem, fairly fat stem. And there's really not a whole lot of leaves to the plant. So your yield isn't going to be as high as with something like a kale, like you see behind them there. Um, but for the nutritional value, they're a really interesting plant to consider. And as far as differing from other plants that I've grown, I'll try and share a few things that I learned from growing these. I'm not what I would consider an expert on purslane hydroponic growing, uh, but I have learned a few things. Uh, for example, the kale behind it is red Russian kale and it tends to do a lot better with a higher nutrient content an EC above 3.0 uh, whereas the purslane I've noticed it seems to do a little bit better when the electrical conductivity is a little bit lower a little bit lower than 3.0 um, as far as nutrients just a, a regular one part uh, grow solution is what I'm using for these um, I haven't had to add anything extra I use MaxiGrow by General Hydroponics. It's a really low cost nutrient solution. It comes in a dry powder form. And it seems to provide what the, the purslane needs in order to grow properly. Uh, so if you're interested in trying to grow a high omega-3 plant, I would recommend purslane. Uh, just be warned that it is a little bit difficult to get to grow properly in hydroponics. Uh, if you enjoy this, I thank you for watching and please subscribe.